guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. I woke up this morning and my husband had just gotten home from a business trip and he was unpacking his stuff and threw the stuff on the bed and said, hey honey, I got you something. And he threw onto the bed all these 100% pure products. He got me um, a mask and a coffee eye cream and oh, a body lotion or whipped body cream. I was so excited. I ran into the bathroom. I pulled out my 100% pure stuff. Um, the fruit, pigment, fruit pigmented foundation, which I have on right now. The bamboo blur powder, which I also have on. And then I got out one of their eyeliners, which I don't have on yet because I was looking and thinking, okay, where are the rest of my products? I got to get my full face of 100% pure. And I realized I don't have any. Uh, I didn't have any eye or cheek or highlighter, so I do have some lipstick. Actually, I don't have that on right now. Maybe I'll change lipstick as the video goes on. But in any event, um, I went online immediately, obviously, to rectify the situation. I've since ordered a 100% pure palette with eyeshadow, blush, and highlighter, and I believe bronzer, so can't wait to get that, and I will definitely do a video once I get that going. But I thought, well, what should I use in its place? Another favorite brand and product line is RMS Beauty. So I thought I will put on my RMS Swift Shadow Trio, which I love. This actually came out, I believe this last winter, and I wore it off and on through the holidays and into the spring. But I was thinking they're such nice warm colors that it would be beautiful for a sunny day like today. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I have my full face makeup on. As I mentioned, I have the Alima Pure Eye Primer on. So my eyes are all ready. And I love the names, Love Letter, Heartbreaker, and Secret Fling. So cute. So I'm gonna put this in the center of my eye and this in the crease, and I think I'm gonna do it in the inner corner and outer corner as well, just to mix things up. And then this probably a little in the corner to give it a little bit of pop. I do have the um, brush from RMS. This is the eyeshadow brush, and it's these short bristles. They're packed really tightly, so you can get a lot of color, but and this is obviously what they recommend, they recommend using with their products. I just don't like it. I don't like using it. So I'm not gonna use that today. Instead, I'm just gonna use my plain old Eco Tools. Um, and what I will say about these shadows, they're so creamy. As far as creamy goes for being a powder, they're just really velvety and easy to use, super pigmented too. You'll see that as I put this on. You can see it on the brush. So I'm gonna, Go ahead and put this in the center of my eye. Oh, I'm always amazed at how pigmented it is and how easily it goes on. Can you see that? So pretty. So yeah, I'm just curious to know how many other women out there have husbands or boyfriends or significant others who come home and bring them such lovely surprises like my husband did. I'm not saying it to be obnoxious or brag. I just, I feel so fortunate. Um, I actually was married before and obviously divorced uh, my first husband. So I understand what it's like to have a different type of spouse. And um, it just makes me appreciate what I have all the more. Now I'm gonna go in with the heartbreaker and put this in my crease. Can you see how pigmented this is? It really, I love it. And it blends out, it just blends out so smoothly and nicely, goes on so easily. And the color payoff is fantastic. And it really wears well all day, super comfortable. Um, I have some of RMS's cream products. That, well, obvi obviously most of their products are coconut oil based and cream. So their powders 
um, are a bit of a change and becoming more and more common in their line, more popular as well. But I've worn some of their eyeshadows that are the creams and they're lovely and they give a nice polished look to the eye. But as Rosemary Swift says herself, they crease and you need to, you know, pat them out every so often. And I forget to do that throughout the day. I just am a person who's kind of all in usually. And um, then I look in the mirror and I see all the creases in my eye and I don't like how that looks. Also, I find that the cream eyeshadows um, sheer out throughout the day. So I'll have a lot of color. And then as the day goes on, it's creased and sheared out and I've lost a lot of the color payoff and need to reapply it. So I'm not one of those women who carries a purse full of makeup and I'm going to reapply it throughout the day. So I was excited when I got this cream, a cream, a powder palette from RMS and I've just been loving it and wearing it ever since. Now I'm going to take some more of that same color on this eyeliner brush and take it below my lashes just to create some continuity in the look. Oh, I see I have a little mascara under my eye. Sorry about that. I had to take care of that. And finally, I'm gonna go in with this lovely purple secret fling. Nice deep color, plum, and put that in the corners. Should I put on some eyeliner today? I find with this look, I don't usually put on eyeliner. I feel like it's enough. I think what I will do is go in with a little bit more of this deep plum and put it under the center of the bottom of my lid. It's just fun, different for me. I'm adding a little more to the outer corner. And then I'm gonna finish it off with what I think is an underrated product. This is the Pacifica Beauty Natural Minerals. I think that's just what it's called, Natural Minerals. I don't know that it has a name otherwise. I don't see one on here. But it's the cream colored eyeliner. And I absolutely love this. I use this pretty much every day. I'm gonna line the inner rim of my lower lids. This will just help make me look more awake. And brighten the eyes. I know it looks a little funny right now, or it may not to you, but to me it always looks a little funny when I first put it on, but after blinking a few times, it'll dull down some and blend in a little bit. But I feel like, especially if you have allergies like I do when your eyes are often red, that this is a great product. And then I'll just put this in the inner corner of my eyes. I don't always want something sparkly um, as my highlighter around the inner corner of my eyes. So I love to use this product. And then I'll also use it up near my brows as a highlighter up here. Just kind of blend that in with my finger because it's a nice and creamy product. I think I'm gonna switch out lipsticks real quick to put on one of my 100% pure lips. I'll be right back. All right, so I've come back in, taken off the old lip gloss that I had on and come back in with this 100% pure Sahara. It's a matte lipstick by 100% pure, fruit pigmented like all of their stuff. I love the way their lipsticks smell. They smell like fruit. And I'm just gonna show you, it's a really nice nude. So there you have it, and that's what I have on now. And I feel like once I um, change lipsticks that I need a little bit more blush. So I'm gonna uh, put on some of this Guava by Beauty Counter. My current favorite blush, it's a bright, cool pink. 
And I'm just gonna pop a little more of that on my cheeks. I have the kind of face that can wear a lot of makeup. Every time I get my makeup done or go somewhere and someone puts makeup on me, they're always like, ooh, you have big eyes, you have big lips, you have big cheeks. I mean, everything just needs a lot of makeup. Um, so, and then I'll go out and people think I don't wear much makeup, which is always surprising to me because I have a full face and a ton on. So this is the completed look with my 100% pure face and my RMS eyes. I love it. I think it's just a really fun change for me. I usually stick to more neutrals. They're just fun to play with. They go on so well. They're nice and velvety and the staying power and color payoff are great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there are any products you'd like to see me test out or review. Also, any other suggestions or comments on these products or other things, I'd always love to hear from you. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day and find some time to pamper yourself. Bye.